Hi, I'm Meshach, and welcome back to another episode of The Bemuse, where we talk about all things personal finance for young adults just like you and me. So a few months ago, we put out a video on three ways that you can save more money in 2019. And I also mentioned that as the year progressed, that I would try and find more ways to save, and I would share them with you. So in this video, I'll be talking about an app that I'm pretty sure most of you are aware of, but I'm still going to mention it here today. And that app is called Ibotta. Before I get to the episode, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you always know when we post new content. So what is Ibotta? Ibotta is an app for couponing and cash back. And I must give a shout out to my cousin, Crystal, who's the person who actually put me on to this app because I knew nothing about it. Um, and kind of explained everything to me and how it works. Still a little bit cloudy on some of the, the cashback opportunities just because they're ever changing, um, but I'm, I'm getting the hang of it. Uh, so I'll, I'll walk you through it now. So how it works is you go to the app, you click on the store that you're going to shop at, and you go through and, and, and see which coupons they have available for that day. Some of them will have time restraints on them, such as only two days left to use this coupon, some of them longer, some of them are ongoing. You clip the coupon for that specific store, and then you go to the store. When you shop, it will give you sometimes also parameters for those coupons, such as you're only able to use it on uh, brand specific cereals such as Frosted Flakes or Cheerios or sometimes it will even say maybe company specific such as General Mills or Kellogg's or something like that. Um, pay attention to those details, they are important because if you don't pick up the specific item, you don't get the cash back or the, the promotional funds for it. And now I'm going to show you some clips of me actually shopping and using the Ibotta app with my cousin Courtney. Uh, and, and Corey, uh, they kind of helped me out. It was a, an ordeal, it was a little bit challenging, a little bit of a different way of shopping, um, just because I was not used to getting on an app and searching for coup. I'm not a couponer, um, and doing all of that, but his wife, Crystal, Courtney's wife, Crystal, she's amazing at it. Um, another cool thing, I'm not sure if it's a glitch or what, but I can see how much cash back she's earning and she earns a lot of cash back, but then again, they are a family of four um, and they're shopping a whole lot more than I am. Uh, but you know, it can be a really great tool to get some cash back and to jumpstart your savings if that is your, your goal. But like I said, here are those clips of us shopping in Walmart. I'm here in Walmart, I'm gonna be using the Ibotta app for the very first time, try and get some shopping done to see how much I can save. Let's go. So, trying to get some Honey Nut Cheerios, looking for 19 and a half ounces. It's 10, 19 and a half. It's a pretty big box. Just 19 and a half. Yep, 19 and a half ounces. Dollar and 50 cents back. So you make your purchase like you would at the cash register and you go on home and you keep your receipts. Make sure that you keep your receipts because you do not get your cash back if you don't have your receipt. You get the receipt, you use your phone, you open the Ibotta app and you just scan a picture of your receipt. Once you scan a picture of your receipt, it will automatically recognize the things that you have clipped previously before you went to the grocery store, and it will give you the cash back promotions that are associated with each of those items. Um, and pretty much after that, it's about a 24 to 48 hour waiting period for, those, for you to see those funds in your account. Now, you might be wondering, what happens if I go to the grocery store or to CVS, wherever, you buy your groceries, and you forgot to clip these coupons before you went? That's not a problem. Um, I believe that this was something that you could not do in the past, but as of recently, and it might be a while ago, but recent to me, um, in doing my research, is that you can go and shop like you normally would, and then you can peruse through those coupons, those store-specific store locations for their coupons, and then you can scan a picture of the receipt afterwards, and you'll still get the same cashback opportunities as long as they are active. So if 
Walmart water, you got $2 back on Walmart water and it expires today. And you went shopping yesterday, but you didn't upload the coupon until tomorrow. Unfortunately, you will not get that cash back because you're outside of that time frame. So you want to make sure that if you do go and shop and you don't use the Ibotta app, um, that you know before you shop, you want to make sure that when you get home, that you do it immediately to take advantage of any cash back opportunities that you might be able to get for that day. Also most stores will give you a 10 cent, 5 cents, as some of them I've even seen as much as 25 cents. Even if there's nothing that you buy per se uh, that's on sale or giving you any sort of cash back, you do get some sort of small cash back for just uploading your receipt. So make sure that you are holding on to those receipts and if you have friends who don't use Ibotta, most definitely ask them for their receipts as well and try and rack up those cash back opportunities. And hey, it doesn't hurt. I mean, do what you gotta do to get some cash back. Um, something else that is really important that was a huge bummer for me because the way how I shopped is when my cousin introduced me to Ibotta, I was not going to the grocery store like most people do to buy my groceries. I was using a service called Walmart Grocery because it was just really convenient for me. I just had to go and pick up my groceries. But unfortunately, Ibotta does not give cash back for shopping at most places, not all, some of them there are exceptions, but most places online. So in my case, when I was going and getting the same groceries that I would get in store at Walmart, I would not be able to redeem those Ibotta uh, cash back opportunities, even if some of the things that I was buying were on the list of coupon items for that week or for that day. But I will say that the staff at Ibotta are very, very friendly. And if you have a new account and you're unaware of this, I would definitely say to shoot them an email or send them some sort of inquiry through the app because I had great success. I'm not saying that it'll work for everyone, but I explained my case and they were able to give me cash back on all the items that I purchased from Walmart Grocery, even though I didn't buy them in store and they gave me the cash back for those items. So I would say it does not hurt to send them an email and see what they say. Before I go, I should actually show you how much cash back I have to date. I only buy groceries once a month, so don't kill me and I don't really shop in store. I'm an online person, but uh, I have $6.90 in cash back so far. You also have to wait, that's another bummer, to cash out these uh, benefits, I believe until you get to $20 or $25. I'll specify somewhere here on the screen what that is. Um, but once you get to that figure, you cash out either by PayPal or by, what's the PayPal partner, Venmo or something like that. Not too sure, but again, put that on the screen somewhere here. Um, and I'll also put in the description if they charge you any fees for, uh, for cashing out those funds. Cause I'm really not too sure. Haven't really experienced that part of it yet. Like normal, if you had any other cash back or you know, money saving tips, mention those in the, the comment section down below. I'd love to hear about them. I'm still on the hunt for a few more. But again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss when we post new content. Thanks, see you later, bye.